Hey there, it's Rory, and I'm here today to talk to you about lens flare. You've taken a photo with your mobile phone, you're loving it, except for you see these green spots on your shot. Might be a green dot, could be this little area over here, they might even be purple. This is lens flare, and it comes when you're photographing directly into a light source, in this case, shooting at sunset. But you can also get lens flare if you're photographing in towards lamps, street lights, lights inside a house. You can even get lens flare from photographing towards a candle. And the spots will come up a couple different ways and uh, you might even just have an area that's slightly blurry on your shot. Now, a couple ways to deal with it. One is you can reframe your composition, move things around so that you don't see those spots or areas on your um, screen itself. You might also be able to block the light source. Maybe it's putting the sun behind a building or a branch. And maybe you can even turn off the lights. Um, but oftentimes you don't quite have those um, options available to you. So the next best thing is to either live with it or in this case, remove it. And there's a number of apps that allow you to make little fixes like that. Today I'm gonna to talk about Snapseed. It's a great little app available on both iOS and Android. It's a free app and it has a number of tools. So let's get right into it. At the bottom of Snapseed, I have my photo open at the bottom, there's a tools button. I can go in there and I look for this one with the band-aids. That's our healing tool. And once I'm in the healing tool, I'm going to use my fingers to expand and really zoom right in the image. I wanna make this edit uh, with as much um, precision as I can. So I'm gonna zoom, zoom in all the way. When you look at the bottom left, you can see you have a little rectangle within a rectangle, blue one inside a bigger one. You can drag that around, sorry for the shaky movements, and you can see up close, we got some green area over here on the left, and then we have our little dot. Where is it? Right there. We got a little dot, and so the way to get rid of it, once we're in the healing tool palette here, or the healing tool window, you simply paint over the area that you want to fix with your fingers. And so if I just mark over this little green dot, you can see that it does a little bit of red outline. That's going to be the area that it's going to fix. And I let go. It will just sample from the background. So it's taken some of that area and it's done a pretty good job. You can notice it if you're really looking closely, but it's a small area in this photo and fair chance. Um, if I don't want to spend much more time, I'm going to be happy with that one. And same thing over here. I can see a bit up on the wave. I'm not gonna bother on that wave because it's not as noticeable, but here in the beach it is. So I can just use my finger and paint down over that going beyond the edge of what's green and I let go and there we have it. So if I didn't like a step I took, I can hit this arrow on the left, it goes back, shows me what it was before and I can click the arrow that's going in the forward direction and see that it looks pretty good. Now I can go back in here and touch that a little bit um, and fix it and you can keep doing this, but of course this is the rabbit hole in editing that you don't necessarily wanna go down. So let's call it good. Hit the check mark in the bottom right corner and that makes our changes uh, visible for us. So you can hold your finger down and you can look on the left hand side and see that both the little green dots are there. When I let my finger off the photo, it shows what has been done. So let's just zoom that in. In most applications on your iPhone and on your Android, you can do things like that where you basically touch the screen after editing and it shows you the before and letting go will show you the after. Before with the dots, after, quick fix. So our next step after I zoom it out and you just see the full shot is to hit the export button and either save over top of the original or I can just create a new copy. In this case, I'm gonna save a copy. It's gonna make all my changes, add another photo to my library, but now the green spots are gone and my photo is even better. So hopefully that helps you with those niggly little green spots that come into your photos from time to time and uh, best of luck and keep shooting. Thank you.